Welcome to another episode of The Jersey Young Kiss. And today we are going to continue to feature a jersey from one of the semi-finalists of the Coppa Italia. And for today we have Juventus. Okay. So let's take a quick look at the home kit of Juventus. Sangkut <laughs> So for today we have the home Juventus kit. Azmi, what's so far? Oh, this one uh, not not so good to be associated with this team. Uh. Okay. For the home kit itself, they have reverted back to the traditional black and white solid stripes. So four white stripes and five white. black stripes. Okay. If compared to the past two seasons whereby they have half and half and uh, brush Stokes of the jerseys. Basically, last two seasons they have the uh, half. Uh, it doesn't. The stripes doesn't go all the way down. The first feature that I can see is ten years at home. So 2021 was ten years after Juventus moved to the new stadium, the Juventus Stadium or the Allianz Stadium from uh, Stadio della Alpi. So the manufacturer is Adidas. Left chest, uh, left side of the chest is the Juventus. Uh, logo, which is this one is relatively uh, quite a new. Uh, logo. This is quite new. I think in the recent uh, past five years or something like that, uh, they, they they changed to this new logo. Uh, previously, uh, they not they not using their old logo anymore. Okay. So for the sponsor is by Jeep 4XE, uh, which I think they are using the uh, hybrid technology. Yes, correct. Uh, for, for by this. Jeep, uh, I think is you can um, you have uh, electric as well as a uh, normal fuel. So Azmi, I also noticed there's three gold stars at the top of the logo itself. So what does this um, represent? Each star represents uh, 10 uh, Italian League Championships or 10 Scudetto. Mm -hmm. So they have three which, mean, which means they have already won at least 30 Scudetto. So at least 30 Scudetto. Right. So Fiorentina, how many Scudetto? Any idea? Uh, yes, less than 30. Less than 30. <laughs> <laughs> so now let's take a quick look at the Juventus away and third okay. kit. So for the away kit, this is a quite a um, wild looking kit yeah. itself. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of the Mikasa volleyball. Yes, the color is also, also <laughs> white, blue <laughs> and yellow. So features a few patterns on the jersey itself. Again, together with all the same sponsors, colors yellow, blue and white. The bag itself is also plain looking so that they can put the players and um, numbering at the back. And we have, what we have here is the third kit of Juventus. Mainly black in colour with horizontal rainbow lines across all, uh, the whole kit itself. Okay. And again with all the three sponsors. Yeah. But however, the I noticed the, the stars Yep. They just follow the same color as the uh, Juventus logo. Yep. Same as the away kit with uh, the J and the blue color stars. And also, same, the black plane at the back itself for the player's name and numbers. Okay, ask me. So, Juventus will be facing Fiorentina in the semi finals. Yes, uh, Any thoughts about it? Juventus is lucky to be having a one goal advantage in the second leg of the semi final. Uh, it was due to an own goal from Fiorentina player uh, Cristiano Biragi. So I think this will still be a very close match uh, and I hope that Fiorentina will win in Turin. And with that, don't forget to catch the second leg of the Coppa Italia semi-finals between Juventus and Fiorentina on the 21st of April, 3am Singapore time. Also, don't forget to like, share, subscribe our social media channel Friends TV. I'm from the Jersey Junkies. I'm from This Is Culture. Okay. Forza Viola. <laughs>